Hello everyone, this is Out of Control with a video from the Cast It Reddit sub, sub the Cast It subreddit, if I can get my words out today. And in the bottom right we have our blue Protoss player Echo. And in the top left, the red Terran Chloe. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but if this guy's name has anything to do with the League of Legends champion Echo, I hate him and I hope he loses already, because I hate that champion. But I do believe Echo was actually random, so our Terran player doesn't know what he's playing up against, so he's going to put down this supply depot at the front, and he's sending out an early scout, but it doesn't look like there's going to be much to see. The first pylon is in Echo's base, which is good for this game, hopefully. So Echo should be revealed now that he's Protoss. He just chrono boosted. He put down a second assimilator, but he's pulling a lot of probes to try and kill that. He's actually supply block now if he tries to make another probe, but okay. He's got a bunch of minerals saved up. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's building a pile on something. Oh. Um, well, since he doesn't have a forge, this isn't really a thread. I guess this is like a scouting pylon. Maybe someone can explain it. I don't know. I don't. I would not recommend doing this. This doesn't seem like a good idea to me. And that SCV does die. I don't know what I was doing right there. But pretty much standard stuff coming from Echo and Chloe here. Chloe well, he does have two gateways, so we might see something about that. That might just be for show. This pylon starting to get cleaned up. And the natural is started by Chloe, but he is supply block, so he needs to take care of that. So we've got a third gateway coming down now for Echo. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. He has a bunch of chrono boost power saved up. If he's doing a gateway attack, he should really chrono boost his cyber core and get that warp gate research. Or at least Chrono boost out the units or something. Because I don't see him... He's got full saturation on this base. I don't know if he means to not have that or not, but he's only got two workers there. Uh, he doesn't look like he's taking another base. Looks like it's just going to be a three gate. And does he have a probe moving out? I don't see a probe moving out with this. So he actually doesn't have a reinforcement pylon over here. Not that it... Okay, there's his probe. And his warp gate's almost finished, and I missed that he actually got the Twilight Council and Blink research starting. Okay, so I think you can probably blink up. Yeah, you can blink here to here. So he's going to blink all in, I would guess, because he's only got one base. And this could prove deadly, and Chloe's moving out with a medevac of units, so he doesn't really have anything here to defend this, but at the same time, Echo doesn't have anything anywhere close to detection, so there is a mine in that medevac, and he's not going to be able to take care of that. However, Chloe has no idea what's going on. There's a bunch of stalkers, and here in about 50 seconds, he's about to have them in his base. So he's got two more racks coming on. He does not have a tech lab though, so there will not be any marauders more than likely. And he's throwing down a third command center, which is just bad news for him right now. He really needs more mines coming out or something. He just really needs more units. This drop is going down, and that mine actually got a really bad hit. It only got three probes, considering they were clumped up like that. If it would have hit the clump, it would have done a lot of damage to the marines too. You should probably honestly just take those marines and attack the pylons though. And now he's got a ton of stalkers in his base. So to me looks like this is going to end up in a big old base race. And one I don't see the Protoss winning. Because even though he's got blank stalkers, if he just lifts up these buildings and flies them around, he's not really going to lose a lot of the buildings. A little bit of Miss Micro there, losing some stalkers he doesn't need to. He's not producing anything right now, by the way. Okay, so he has no bunkers, he has no marauders. He's got a raven for some reason that just immediately goes down. And this is actually looking bad for our Terran player. Really bad. 
So he's pulling the boys here. And it might be enough to get these, clean up these stalkers, maybe? Nope. Not even close. So, he just took a big hit from that mine. He lost, as soon as this, answer, three stalkers to that one mine shot. He should pick up that, ah. Uh, so these mines, he really should not have left this orbital here. I don't know what it's doing. But, in the end, these mines will end up holding off the stalkers. So he's going to keep microing his heart out with these stalkers, but I don't see it being enough. He could probably cancel this command center. It's not going to finish. And so Echo still has some probes left over, and this mine has only gotten two additional kills. That's interesting. We got these stalkers just going to town on this, and please don't rally the marine out that way. It's just going to die. Yeah, it's just feeding... Marines to those now. Mine gets a couple more. He's got a dark shrine on the way, so he's just saying to hell with detection. Who needs it? Um, but at the same time, I mean, our Terran player doesn't really have any detection himself other than potential scans. But he did resecure his main orbital on a base. And then <laughs> he loses two stalkers to one mine again. Which leaves this stalker, lonely stalker up here. Uh, this orbital, this, okay, I don't think he needed to cancel that command center anymore. I don't think the one stalker was too big of a threat there. I think he could have easily pushed that off and then sent one of his SCVs up there to fix it. He's repairing this command center pretty well. So, this mine's got 11 kills and just recharged again. Got another set of kills. Um, while I like his idea of going for the Dark Shrine, I mean, you kind of got to realize you've got a Widow Mine burrowed in your mineral line, and you really needed that detection. He's only just now starting a Robo Facility, meaning this mine's going to shoot off probably two more times before he can even clear it out. So, this game is looking pretty over for Echo. I don't really see any way he should come back. Uh, mine shot getting negated there, so he got a little bit of luck out of that. Got our Terran player floating a thousand minerals actually. It'd probably be good for him to start spamming out some more supply depots and getting just more marines and marauders out. So this is when the first DT comes in and it gets spotted. Mine doing a little bit of friendly fire damage there. After seeing that he is going to immediately throw down the engineering bay and LOL his opponent. So from here uh, Protoss doesn't have any money to make another DT, but he made a sentry for some reason, I don't know. Alright, so he finally does clear up this mine, and this is all he's got to his name, really, are these four units and his workers. He doesn't really have many of those, though. He should probably take at least one or two out of the gas, because he's really not going to need that gas right now, he needs minerals. But really, I don't see too much of a way that he comes back in this game. It should be pretty much over. Sim just started a little while ago. A little bit slow, but I mean, at this point, like I said, I really don't think it matters. He's got this mine up here for no apparent reason. So I'm looking around, and I'm not seeing too much going on for Echo here. I'm just going to... Take a look and see what he's doing. Uh, looks like he's thinking about expanding with no workers and no money. But I mean, I guess at this point you kind of got to do what you got to do and throw a Hail Mary. But honestly, this force right here without Stim will kill Echo easily. Just go ahead and get to Echo's doom here. Maybe. We'll see. DT being annoying. Gets picked off immediately. And this is the army there is to defend. And I mean, even if he lands a perfect force field right here and keeps the army out, you can just lift them up in the medevacs. And they all made it through before he force fielded anyway. So it doesn't matter. Photon overcharges, which is 
a good idea, but I don't think that's going to save him. I think it'll slow him down maybe a little bit, but he loses another DT. Let's just take a look here. Echo has 19 workers, so he's built up a respectable worker supply, but considering his opponent has 41, I mean, this, this is all over but the crying, as Roddy would say. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do here. The game is definitely over. So our Terran player wins the game and continues killing off some Protoss stuff, because who doesn't enjoy doing that? Anyway, guys, I hope you like the cast. Uh, took a break from StarCraft, so I'll probably be a little bit out of meta with some of the stuff that happens in, like, if I ever talk about GM-level games, I don't think I'll ever do that, but if I do. So I'm going to start trying to pick this back up again because I'm getting back into StarCraft. It's not as fun to play, but it's still really fun to watch, so I'll be looking into that. Thank you guys for your time, and if you enjoyed, subscribe and come back for more, I hope.